or in Carflow, who took it over Zeke Reds in Pools Winners Semis. Carflow, obviously, no slouch, uh, which I believe also you can see that particular set up on the uh, quad stream and the, the bot of it once it eventually gets uploaded. Yes, you can. They were absolutely out there. Now, though, we've got the Xeno Classic here, one of many, right? Carflow versus Dill. Starting off on Battlefield, and what do you think of starting off here? So, starting on Battlefield, I'm actually pretty interested in uh, what the bands were because this feels like so much more of a Rob favored stage. A lot of Roy's um, conversions typically are more horizontal, whereas, you know, Rob, the way that Rob plays, getting like ladder conversions, ooh, okay, but not gonna need a conversion to kill with side B. Um, as well as just the way that Rob can play at a variety of different angles and um, uh, distances as well. This seems a very Rob favorite stage. I I agree on in in some ways, but being able to mix up off ledge edge right use those platforms to kind of chase down Rob when he goes high, and you still have the ability to juggle with with up air. You do have those strings off of that move as well, which Carflow is making great mm -hmm. use of. Have allowed him to take an early lead in this game, and he's. Even though this might be Rob favorite in theory, he is making full use of the this tri plot here early on in game one. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, this is huge for Carflow. Carflow being such a momentum based player, Carflow is the kind of player where like once he starts, he just doesn't stop. And of course, playing such a like a character who can uh, who can do that as well. Yep, right, but the not able to mix up his mash timing well enough, still calling him out with that up air out and gonna find the stock so now both players are just looking trying to find a hit and the up Super beat gonna armor. allow carflow to take neutral for a second but not really maintain an advantage state dill now trying to find a way back down yep and there we go using those platforms to carflow's advantage once again to keep himself uh having some space on Dill and right now, but right now at the ledge, able to, and like you were saying before, using those platforms uh, for Carflow to make his way back into center stage. But a gyro into arm order means Dill is now gonna be in the driver's seat and in the lead. Yeah, the down throw there was so smart from Dill, right? Cover, it covered so much and, you know, Rob's body was able to cover everything else, but the dancing blade gonna find it. Dill unfortunately getting her momentum carried by that jump, taking her into the blast zone and causing that stock to go a little bit early. And also Rob's big, so letting it come out, but Dill having an opportunity here in the corner, but great Z catch from Carflow to find his way out just for a moment, and the early up gonna let him get back again Ooh. and find the reversal. Rob with gyro sounds scary. Oh, absolutely. Er All right, we were almost not able to talk about Carflow's item play. Item play is such a yeah. an important, uh, an important facet, especially in like higher level play and against uh, Rob, and especially if you're living in Tri-State where there are Robs just everywhere, like you, j you just gotta know. Yeah, no, I, I, exactly what you just said, right? The items, people are like, oh, items are broken, and it's like, yeah, but guess what? Both players get to use them. One player gets to control when it comes out, but both players get to use them, but only one player gets to use that back air. Dill closing out game number one, finding the back air read. Carflow getting a little too over aggressive, mm -hmm. which is kind of his downfall as a player, and the downfall of a lot of Roy players is that your buttons are so good, right? And you're able to hit press so many of them, and you're so fast, that sometimes you just hold forward. Yeah. Yeah, and you sometimes you forget that... Sometimes, sometimes you gotta back off for a second, mm -hmm. and then hold forward. Yeah. Uh, to note, Dill's bans were TNC and PS2. Very good bans against Roy, especially that town and city. And we're gonna be running it right back to Battlefield for game two. Yeah, again, I, I think, you know, that game felt very doable for Carflow. I completely understand why he wants to go back here. He made really good use of those platforms to try and find his way through the, this, these, lane, these lanes that Dill's trying to establish with Gyro, with Laser, and finding a way in early. He, he's really prioritizing playing under these platforms here as well, trying to help limit these landing narrow approaches from Rob that are so good for this character. Mm -hmm. Right now, though, Dill is continuing on the pressure, trying to use that laser to keep herself uh, safe as well in the corner. Similar to what you were saying before. Oh, Aegis oh, Reflector. Oh. That Dill getting the kill there. Yeah, you're just playing a little bit of ping pong right there, mm -hmm. right between the gyro and yourself. 
making like doubles in a 1v1 game is kind of brutal. Oh, but the parry, Ooh. that move only way to punish it. It, but Carflow just trying to find anything. Dill feeling like he's starting to lock this down. Down, it feels like Carflow is just not able to land a significant hit, and he's starting to kind of panic. Like, try and close this one out. That might be an opening, but he needs to convert here because 47% of extra credit, he can't get too, hit too many more times, so he's going to start to let this one get out of hand. Yeah, and there, right there, Dill taking that high recovery is exactly why this is such a fantastic stage for Rob. Just being able to use that top, uh, top platform to make her recovery that much more ambiguous means that Dill is going to be living it that much longer. 142 now. Nice parry on the gyro from the ledge, but Carflow not able to find anything out of this uh, shield pressure. Yep. Dill considering the down air there, but decided not to commit out for it. The up B gonna apply some pressure from Carflow, but he's still not able to close out the stock. And he, he has to be a little bit nervous here. Gonna find it, but so very close to having gone down to two stop, going down to full two stocks. This is an opportunity for Dill to cement a very strong lead here if she can close this one out. Yeah, and we saw Dill almost able to do so, doing kind of the Dill classic of just dropping down from the Angel platform and pressing that side because, you know, you have the invincibility frames and it might kill, so why not? It's such a great move. That being said, though, Carflow is now the one in the driver's seat. Not quite able to uh, pick up the gyro, though, unfortunately. That's just kind of... That's just matchup knowledge that you gotta find. What a read by Carflow on the tech. Yeah, Very good stuff. Boy is one of those characters, right, that's fast enough that those tech chase situations are 50-50, right? You mm -hmm. either have to read whether they're gonna roll through you or not, but anything else, Boy is just fast enough where he can kind of run into you and cover it. Allowing Carflow to find a way back into this game and a, and a lead, but it's not gonna last. Dill finding a down smash of her own gonna close it out, and 50% really doesn't mean all that much in this matchup. Yeah, especially to especially to a Rob, like, what is, what is a 46% if not just, like, two touches? Yeah, I was gonna say, what is a 46%? Well, it's just about gone. Carflow, though, able to find a couple of hits, but great DI there from Dill to find the sour spot rather than the sweet one. So gonna hold on to her stock, but she needs to find a way back down doing so, using those platforms, that top platform I'm talking about earlier, but getting a little over aggressive and then give Carflow the reversal situation, but he's not able to capitalize until he finds Double a dancing blade. Dance is gonna be taking it. Carflow bringing us to 1 1 up against Dill, our second seed. I believe this matchup is typically uh, Dill favored, but Carflow, Carflow bringing us to even. Yeah, and I mean, Carflow the last couple of months, right, has gotten. It feels like just has keeps getting better. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. Carflow's level ups in terms of mix ups, in terms of patience, and in terms of just like you know, you also just look at the wins he's gotten, right? You know, like November onwards, mm -hmm. they just keep getting better. So it's not really a surprise to see him playing this closer than he has in the past. Finding that dancing blade in the delay there, the sour spot into the sweet spot was so so good from him. Pulled out. Dill's end lag perfectly and utilize that angle to of his descent to his advantage very, very well there. Yeah, and I mean that's kind of the um kind of the crux of what we were talking about before. Okay, I guess wrong stage. Uh, kind of the crux of what we were talking about before about Carflow's uh downfall as a player being, you know, sometimes you just put on the gas a little bit too much, but getting in that delay was what got Carflow that third kill in game two. Yeah, no, exactly. And, you know, the, the benefit is that, you know, the only gas Carflow's got to worry about, right, is, is the gas he's, you know, whether how much he has his foot on the pedal. Mm -hmm. Rob has at least got to land on stage every once in a while. So, you know, getting into game number three here, the FD and Kalos bans from Dill, you know, makes sense. You don't want to give Roy that kind of flat space where you can't get away, you can't mix up on these platforms here. But we're gonna see a little bit of a switch taking away that top. Dill is gonna opt to kind of get rid of that top lap, but gonna apply so much pressure early and it's gonna be Carflow just with a forced error there gonna lose his first hawk. Yeah, so unfortunate for Carflow and that's just kind of what happens to Roy. Even though Carflow was able to save that jump, did not jump into the arm rotor, still dead. So very unfortunate for Carflow. But, you know, we're going to see if he can start putting some momentum back into his favor. But Dill right now playing very defensively, using those um, 
using those small battlefield platforms. We talked a lot on the Xeno stream about how Biplats are so strong for like a defensive zoner matchup. But let's see, getting the jab into the delayed double edge dance and Carflow bringing us right back to even. Yes, he has source armor and trying to keep this pressure on. What's amazing is that Dill only really landed one hit in that whole first stock, so this opportunity could just trying to claw it back, finding that Nair, Nair applying some amount of pressure, but Carflow's just managed to just dominate this whole oh second game. Oh my god. Carflow had the read, unfortunately did not commit quite enough to it, and... <clears throat> Dill is going to be living a little bit longer. I do want to point out the way that Carflow was playing while Dill was at ledge was just absolutely phenomenal. Carflow had all of the reads on Dill's uh, tempo at the ledge. But right now, even percentages. And we're seeing Dill here, right, really prioritized now as well. Like, right, trying to play underneath these platforms, trying to hold this space. Ace and has only really entered the center when she feels like she's going to be guaranteed a hit. However, Carflow is just not let her have it, really forcing her out from underneath those those platform arms. And because she's giving herself less stage, right, that's putting her in this corner, and that's where Carflow has really made his money so far. Carflow getting up, kind of stubbing his toe on the gyro there, getting sniped by the laser, still able to make it back using that laser, recovering high and able to convert into a stock as well. Carflow now one stock away from putting Dill into losers in winner's quarters. Yeah, that would be, an, you know, you'd think that would be an absolute shocker, but really seeing either of these players in like go down this early mm -hmm. is kind of a little bit of a shocker. Carflow again on that level up recently has the opportunity, but Dill, ew, that gyro provides so much corner pressure. Somehow Carflow able to find his way through it, rack on some percent, and has an opportunity to rack on some more extra credit, but not able to get back. Dill with the snipe from downtown. Yep, only 27%, so pretty much looking at a dead even game right now. Last stock, game three. This is absolutely what you love to see on the Xeno stream, especially with two players of a caliber like this. I I was gonna say, I agree with you completely. This matchup has been so dynamic, and it's only fitting that we see this set go down to the wire. Right now, Carflow trying to chase down, but not able to contest that Rob Nair. That move is so incredibly safe. Dill, though, trying to just find a neutral, but trying to find a hit, and has gotten a little bit overly aggressive of her own. Since that first game, Carflow's really settled down and managed to find some fantastic openings here on these whip punishes. And right now, once again, Dill in the corner. Carflow utilizing that gyro, using it to uh, block off the top platform, almost dying to the back air there. The Light delay on his uppy though, allowing him to get back, playing around that down on air per spike perfectly, but still trying to find his way out of the corner, managing to do so. Oh, Dill having a slightly superior tools to fight out of the corner with those projectiles, but Carflow is so scary because you're dead to a jab back air here, trying to get down, but again, Roy Sword so scary. Dill somehow finding her way out of the situation, and this is could be anyone's game. That was so unfortunate for Carflow. I think he was looking for a jab lock set up there with the side B, and unfortunately it just didn't lock. And that means Dill with another lease on life. Last hit scenario for both players. And just a miss Nair gonna get punished by a backer, but from center stage, not gonna kill just yet. This is Roy at max rage though, so the next one, even staled, might. The sweet spot up air also would have that height up, but gonna find it, and that's gonna be it. Carflow taking down Dill here in winner's quarters. What a set. Absolutely. And what fantastic play from Carflow here as well. Just utilizing the center stage there to threaten Dill as she tried to land on that platform there and using the speed of Roy to catch the jump out of shield as well. And that is gonna be Carflow moving on into winner's semis. Absolutely. And I believe now we have, I think a partial caster swap? Yes. Coming in, I am hopping off for the person who's blocked this actually is <laughs> TK1. I believe you're still staying on. Yes. Uh, Devin, correct me if I'm wrong. And I will catch you all later to close out bracket with top eight. But have a fantastic rest of your block. It was fantastic working with yeah, you. It was a great and time. Until n later, I'll catch y'all.